since we our readership is mostly college students, so uh, I think the thing they want to know most about is like the college student debt and like repaying loans and like what you would do to change that if you were elected. So we have so much outstanding student loan debt in this country right now, 1.5 trillion dollars. Um, it's making it that much harder for people who've been able to get an education, to get started in a career, um, to open a, a store, start a business, do whatever they're supposed to do in their lives that they're now trained and have the education to pursue. Um, one idea uh, to address this, this crisis in debt is to refinance outstanding debt at lower rates, mm -hmm. to forgive that debt, especially when the beneficiary is willing to work in an underserved community in an in-demand profession. School districts that can't recruit teachers, let's make sure that we forgive that student loan debt that they accrued. Um, VAs, uh, clinics that need that uh, social worker or therapist or psychologist or psychiatrist, let's make it easier for them to make that decision to be in those communities. Let's also invest as a country in the ability for anyone who wants to, to be able to come to Tarrant County College or El Paso Community College or get an associate's degree without taking on a ton of debt. Um, if you're gonna pursue a full four-year degree, those first two years are now satisfied. Mm -hmm. if, if you are wanting to work in a profession for which you only need those first two years, a welding certification, a FAA remote pilot's license, all of the things that you can do at colleges like these um, that allow you to do better in your life, earn more, pay more back over the long term, we should be investing in that. And that's, that's our choice right now, invest in people and communities or invest in special interests and corporations. And I wanna make sure it's people and communities. Yeah, do you have time for one more question? Sure, absolutely. I was say, uh, so college students and younger, sometimes they're not the best voters. Uh, yeah. So what do you think uh, is different? Do you think anything's different this time around? You know, what the importance of getting younger voters out there? Yeah, it's, it's such a good question because I think a lot of people are wondering, what the heck are you doing? There's there's 32 days left before the election. <laughs> why, why, why come to Tarrant County College? And you may know, yesterday we were at UT Arlington. Mm -hmm. Uh, before that, we were at Baylor, before that at A&M. Um, for, for me, it's not just that there are a lot of prospective voters, mm -hmm. and there are, but there, there are a lot of leaders here who are the ones who have been reaching out to us or even coming out to our events off of campus saying, hey, where, where are you on gun violence or climate change or uh, an economy that works for everyone or a minimum wage that, that is affordable or health care in the least insured state in the country. So I see a tremendous amount of leadership here and I want to be where that leadership is um, to, to thank those who are standing up to be counted and, and to encourage everyone to, to take this chance to make the difference that we need in our country at this moment. And so that's what's brought me out here today. All right. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, Thanks thank for your question. Thank you very much. Really for your time. appreciate it. Yeah.